Oh my goodness, I'm finally back in school. It's what? TDB. Yeah, I really want to get back to making these uh, videos, uh, Animal Factory I was very consistent. This is actually the type of video I'm like, want to be making the most this year with, uh, you know, this and movie reviews and Walking Dead reactions. But anyway, let's talk about sea stars. So there's 2,000 species of sea stars, also known as starfish. They can be found in all, all the Earth's oceans. They can be found in a lot of places from tropical waters all the way down to the freezing sea floor. And a few species have been found in brackish water as well. While most of them are fairly small, some species can weigh as much as 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. And despite their name, starfish aren't actually fish. They're in the invertebrate phylum called echinoderms, along with sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. Believe it or not, sea stars are our closest invertebrate relatives. Both phylum chordata and uh, echinodermata fall under the clay deuterostoma. Deuterostomes are characterized by their fetal development as our anuses are developed before our mouths. No other animal found like arthropods or sponges or mollusks do that except echinoderms like starfish and vertebrates like us. That's right, you heard me correctly. We're more closely related to Patrick than we are to Spongebob, Mr. Krabs, or Squidward. Is this an echinoderm? No, this is Patrick. Is this a core date? No! This is Patrick! Perhaps the most iconic feature on a sea storm are its, are its arms. Most species have five arms, hence the name, but some have been known to have 10, 20, or even 40. If a sea star loses an arm, they can use their famous adaptation to regenerate their limbs. Since most or all their vital organs are in their arms, some species can grow a totally new sea star from a portion of a lost limb. Just imagine if I had some sort of like strange Deadpool like ability where I could regenerate my limbs. So if I like cut off my hand, I regrow my hand, but my hand like regrows its body. So now we have two V-tosses. Mm, actually, never mind. It would be so cool. I think one thing is good enough. And while we're on the theme of arms, a starfish's nervous system is spread throughout its arms and actually has no brain in the center of any of its limbs. They even have one eye on the tip of their arm, on each arm, all their eyes being colorblind. And like all lungless sea creatures, sea stars need gills to breathe. Their gills are located on their underside along with their many tube feet that are propelled by hydraulic systems. Although, along with not having a brain, Starfish don't have blood either, they instead have bodily fluid made from filtered seawater. Starfish have one of the strangest feeding habits in the animal kingdom. Their favorite food is mollusks, like clams and oysters, and their, uh, and their tube feet are used to pry open their thick shells. A starfish's stomach can disturbingly come inside out to ooze into their, its shell, taking in all the nutrients before withdrawing back in, into its body. Later, the starfish tends to regurgitate undigested food in instead of expelling it through waste matter. Yeah, just, oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, and finally, you might be wondering why so many cute little sea stars are dying. Many echinoderms tend to fall victim to sea star wasting syndrome, or SSWS. This disease appears mostly in increased water temperatures. The first symptom of this illness are white lesions that spread across the sea star's surface, which leads to decay in tissues and failure to sea star's adaptations to maintain an internal hy hydrostatic balance. When a sea star dies, it disintegrates into a white, mushy blob. Not much is known about this disease, but one thing you can do to help sea stars is help them back into the water in case they become stranded on land. I was told a story once in church as a kid where loads of starfish were stranded on a beach and an old man kept throwing them back into the waves. And a little boy asked him why he was doing so when there's so many of them. Like, he's not going to save them all. But the old man responded that he might not be able to save all of the starfish, but he can certainly try and make at least one starfish's day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this series is going to get back on a very consistent schedule. I have a very busy semester ahead of me. So yeah, it's not going to be easy, but I'm determined to, you know, keep at this. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what animal you guys want me to do next, please. I hope you guys had an awesome Martin Luther King Day. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. Let's hit that by May 17th, which is when my spring semester ends. So yeah, you guys are awesome and have a nice night.